Do you want your IELTS score to go? Hi, I'm Nivisha and today we'll learn how you can achieve a higher score by acing the IELTS academic writing task 1. In this task, you are asked to describe facts or figures presented in one or more graphs, charts, tables or diagrams. They can be diagrams of a machine or process. We'll look at multiple tips with examples to understand how to write an answer that will get you a band 9. Let's begin. In task 1, you are required to write a 150 word response. You lose marks if your response is shorter, but if the response is longer than 150 words, there is no negative marking. This does not mean that you need to include unnecessary details. So tip number one is to analyze the data and answer to the point. Do not write unnecessary details or simply report what the chart shows. The task is to summarize the data, not just reporting it. Let's look at this example. These pie charts show the amount of money the charity in the US received and spent. And you have to summarize the information. Here's a response that won't work. The pie charts show the amount of revenue and expenditures in 2016 for a children's charity in the USA. The revenue sources were donated food 86.6%, community contribution 10.4% and so on. Here I am simply stating what the chart shows. Instead, I should say something like this. The pie charts show the amount of revenue and expenditures in 2016 for a children's charity in the US. We can see that the revenue sources exceeded the total expenditure. The highest revenue source was food donations which amounted to 86.6% of the revenue, while the most money was spent on program services which constituted 95.8% of the expenses. Here we analyzed the data to tell how revenue is more than expenditure and then reported the numbers. Next, tip number two, use data to support your analysis. In our previous response, we analyzed the data given and then substantiated it with numbers from the charts. This adds more meaning to your answers. You should write in a semi-formal style and include the most important points only. Our experts at Leap Scholar teach you how to read and analyze data provided in charts, graphs and diagrams. They'll also help you practice all the types of graphs and diagrams that you might encounter in this task. Try the Leap Scholar free IELTS demo where you will learn from India's top IELTS educators. They'll resolve your queries and help you pick the right path ahead. Most of our students score a 7 plus band. Click on the link in the description to book a demo now for free. Moving on to tip number 3. Use correct grammar, spellings and tenses. It's important to be mindful about tenses while writing your response. In our example, the year is 2016, which is in the past. Hence, we use the past tense while writing our response. But if the pie chart or bar graph does not mention a date, then you'll write in the present tense. Also, using wrong grammar or incorrect spellings will cause a deduction in your score. Try to be versatile with the use of grammar devices. Bonus tip, strengthen your vocabulary. This will help you throughout your IELTS exam, all the sections. In writing task 1, if you use distinct and unique words, it shows that your vocabulary is great. Hence, it's a good way to boost your score. Tip number 4. Give an overview. Even if the task does not ask, you should write an overview. For example, the pie chart presents a detailed analysis of the revenue and expenditure for a children's charity in the United States in the year 2016. The data reveals that the bulk of the income was generated through the donated food, while program services incurred the highest expenditure. It's worth noting that the aggregate revenue sources slightly exceeded the outgoings. 
it's not necessary to include numbers in the overview. The intent is to write a couple of lines that explain what the chart is about. Tip number five, practice all types of questions. There are a variety of questions that you might encounter in this task, namely pie charts, tables, bar graphs, plans and even diagrams. We just looked at a pie chart and how to read it. Similarly, you need to practice the other types. Here's what a diagram might look like. The diagram below shows the process by which bricks are manufactured for the building industry. Summarize the information by selecting and reporting the main features and make comparisons where relevant. So just like the pie chart, you begin by understanding the diagram. Give an overview of the brick manufacturing process without mentioning many details. Then explain the process using good grammar and language devices. Now here there are no dates, so you will use present tense to describe the process. For example, the brick manufacturing process starts by digging good quality clay. A digger is used to collect the clay from the earth. Simple, right? If you practice all types of questions, you will feel more confident and prepared before the exam. Try our free demo sessions. You will find it really helpful to understand where your preparation stands and how much help you require. Our IELTS experts will help you ace each and every section. So don't forget to click on the link in the description and book a demo for free. That's all for today. Hope you found this session helpful. Let me know in the comments section if you have any doubts and stay tuned for the next session. Happy learning!